you know, if President Trump wins in Nevada by one point, within that one point, it's definitely going to be within the Asian bloc. And in that Asian bloc, it's the Filipino American community. Hey. So we are going to be the margin of victory in this race. Members of our great Asian American and Pacific Islander. Hey, community. let's go. Many of whom are here today. Let's go. Especially so many amazing Nevada Filipinos, right? Hey, let's go. Trump said dream big and for Filipinos living in Las Vegas a hundred percent this is our moment this is where we strive and this is our golden age so yeah we're gonna make America great again and we're gonna make America beautiful why because we put MAGA in MAGANDA so make it count make it MAGA make it MAGANDA Trump 2024 let's go <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? So I'm coming here with another video, a video that has been a long time coming, so I'm doing it now, especially days before the election, so I gotta do it. So, Filipino Americans could decide Nevada's fate in 2024 as a key voting block in the swing state. A hundred percent! And I'm, I'm, I am so, hurt, like, hurting that I'm missing out in a, such a battleground state with everything, how exciting it is over there. So we're gonna get into it and talk about everything that is going on there. So, if you're new to this channel, what is up? My name is Mitch Maverick. Mitch, hey Mitch! which all the mention the call signed on and pretty much I like talking about what I talk about so politics pop culture everything in between be sure to check out all those videos as you're finishing this video and of course hit that like share and subscribe as it feeds the algorithm again this video has been a long time coming and obviously it is everything that I want to talk about right politics Filipinos come on and of course I, I've been ha Having lived in Las Vegas for eight years, I have still plenty of ties to the community, have still many friends and family that's still there. So this video actually means a whole lot. So getting into the meat of all of this. So yeah, Filipinos making the deciding factor. And these numbers is not is no secret. Like both sides definitely have this number. So Trump has visited Vegas twice in the last like two months. Obviously, Kamala Harris has visited um, Las Vegas as well. So on both sides, you're vying for this voting block that is untapped, right? And it's really awesome. Let's just kind of like break it down a little bit, trying to figure out why is this the case, right? So here you have from the Filipino Town, Filipino Town Magazine have these numbers, and it's a little bit different this, uh, depending on where you're getting your info, right? But so they're saying 150. K, right? 150,000 Filipinos in Clark County, which is what Las Vegas Henderson falls under. And so if you think about like an actual voting block, maybe you're looking around 100K. And within the 100K, you just need 10K, 10,000 people to move the, the state either or, right? And again, this is something that a lot of people have been mentioning. Um, my friend, John Jose, who works for the um, American Tomorrow Project um, was talking about the same thing, right? The community there that's going to be turning out is the Asian bloc. And the biggest population out of that Asian bloc are the Filipino Americans, right? About 180,000 voters, I believe, or a population of Filipino Americans and 109,000 eligible voters in, in, in the Clark County area, right? 109 eligible vo voters in Clark County. So imagine that. This is my message to the Filipino American community, and I hope that you all share with this and you know we've understood and stood from the party infrastructure to the areas and the community movement the grassroots this is the best opportunity that we've had as a filipino american community and so for us to celebrate it during filipino american history month is the, the best day you know if president trump wins in nevada by one point within that one point it's definitely going to be within the Asian bloc. And in that Asian bloc, it's the Filipino American community. Hey. So we are going to be the margin of victory in this race. And I don't just believe that. A lot of people are working on that. And so, you, so much so, again, not only is, not only is the Filipinos in the six uh, mentioning that, obviously with their posts, they did um, two posts on this, right? And they did a polling on this. So like with their polling, which is great, which was put out a few days ago, you got Trump at plus 14, right? Super awesome. And a shout out to um, Francesca over here um, with her comment over there. So that's really awesome. What is also interesting is that Bart Kwan, 
uh, former Marine, I believe. Um, he's a social media personality, YouTuber, all that good stuff, right? And I'm pretty sure he lives in Vegas because I'm pretty sure that's a Las Vegas. I voted sticker. He put it out a, a a polling on his on his own social media, and I'm pretty sure he voted for Trump the way that he talks, right? And so even in his polling, right? This is uh, like on social media, Instagram, right? It's a plus 14 for Trump. Really exciting, especially if you're a Trump supporter, right? And so what is what does this all mean, right? What did this all mean? And so, shout outs to Liberty Lumpia, um, my friend Lisa, for making this happen. She, we like, we, she, she's also a contributor to RSBN, right? And so, what happened is that through her networks, and obviously she's also a panelist on PHLB Radio Open Forum, and so with all our networks, with all the Asian super PACs and everything, we got Trump to do a shout out to the Filipinos, Nevada Filipinos, at the last Trump rally, not the one in Henderson, but I mean, they're pretty much Las Vegas, anyway. But yeah, I mean, this means a whole lot. Not so much that we are we, we need it, but it's just great to have that recognition, right? This is this, and I said this in this my video on YouTube. Like, if there's anything that Filipinos love more than karaoke, is a Filipino reference on TV, movies, right? And and of course, a, a shout out from the former and future president. So let's take a look. Members of our great Asian American and Pacific Islander. Hey, America, let's go. Many of whom are here today. Let's go. Especially so many. Amazing Nevada Filipinos, right? Hey, let's go. Let's go. I have to be honest with so what happened. I came in and I saw so many people. I said, where the hell? They had the most beautiful... <laughs> oh, they had the most beautiful clothing. Such bright colors. I said, where the hell do all these people come from? Yes. And they told me. That's why I put that little paragraph in Let, there. I said, Let's do this. It's great. You are the greatest people, hardworking Amen. people. Amen. Let's go. And we're going to take care of you. We're going to take care of you. You're going to take care of us. You're going to take care of us. No, you're great. That's no, great. What, a, what spirit, what great spirit. It's an honor to have you here. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. We, as Filipino Americans, as conservatives, obviously the Democrats are probably going to look for more freebies, more like gimmicks and handouts and everything. But as conservatives, like I'm not going to advocate that we should be dependent on Trump, right? We're not going to be dependent on the GOP, but we want to be at least recognized, right? And and that's at the very least because you know we will like, and this is how I kind of said in my other video, like we will make America, like we as Filipino Americans, as conservatives, we will help make America great again. We will help make America beautiful because we put the MAGA in MAGA right? So definitely putting it out there, right? And so we just need the recognition, right? We believe it, as, and I argue this, Filipinos are inherently conservative, God family country. And all we really need is any red tape to be cut away that so that our prosperity is not hindered, right? That our service members are being taken care of, our, our health providers are being taken care of, our military members, a lot of Filipinos in the military are being taken care of. And that's, and again, we don't need handouts, we just need that red tape, that bureaucracy to be to be less of a burden. Like we will take care of our own. It's just that we want that recognition and we want to have an ability to economically grow just by working hard and and being ourselves and fully and fully Filipino and fully American. Like I make no distinction. Like, you know, I am 100% both, right? You know, also when I, I'm making this video, I also want to highlight and, and see like, you know, Mitch, you say that Filipinos are conservative. What is, is there an indication of that? Like, what is your sign of that? So I am going to look to Facebook um, for that for that info and if you and again this video has been a long time coming this this these pages has been there since 2020 if not longer right and so again I've been tracking this right and so Filipino American Patriots for Trump right this is back in 2020 this group has been there right 40k 40,000 members right and you so in the next page over Pinoy Americans for Trump you got 12k right and then on the other side again this is for Filipino American for Biden Harris when Biden was still running this was for the midterms but they were around since 2020 right only 3k right only 3k and of course there's a a Filipino Americans for Harris 500 people 500 I mean she's only campaigning for a few months and so that makes sense right and I also you know shout outs to uh, Phil Am voter here you know 
um, that has both sides, uh, uh, Republicans and and Democrat Filipinos arguing it out. And so I also want to shout out to Mark for saying what's up for my little poll that's still being worked out. So only three people have voted. So. You are correct. You are And I kind of want to close this out with Las Vegas Filipino Town, which is on Maryland Parkway, which is actually where PHLV Radio is, is, is located. Same thing with Philam TV Network and obviously a Seafood City. Um, so um, they're actually officially making that as a Filipino town. And shout out to the Democrats. Give credit where credit is due. We're literally for spearheading that. Um, but, but my point with this is that not only is Filipino prosperity, and I will also give credit where credit is due. Like whether you're a Filipino Democrat or you're a Filipino Republican, we all want what's best for our Filipinos, right? And, and the best for our community. So at the very least, we can hold hands in that, in that unity. It's just that we have different priorities. Obviously, my core values is God, family, country, so I'm going to prioritize crisis king, right? And, and family, right? And, and our country, right? Now, don't send our money to Ukraine and Israel. Like, I don't, like, right now, right now we need to take care of the border, take care of the economy, um, and no, no foreign spending. Like, put a moratorium on that. Like, like for at least a year. Do not, no, no foreign spending, no matter how much, right? Um, and so I, I like, I'm hard, I'm, that's, I'm a little bit more bullish on that. Anyway, my point here is with Filipino Town coming out, like, it makes sense, not only with our numbers, right? But each, both of the parties, Republican and Democrats, will vie into invest into the Filipino community if it means that this, and if we can prove results into the elections, into politicians, obviously they're going to invest in us. Like I was saying earlier, the Democrats are probably going to look for more freebies um, and looking for more like handouts slash, um, you know, like uh, access media type of like deals, like handshakes. For, for me, and, and maybe other people will disagree, but I, I'm looking more that, like, we're just recognized, you know? Again, I don't want bureaucracy when a tape, when it comes to a lot of these entrepreneurs and small businesses, I want us to grow. And we, I think we have the ability to grow within ourselves and, you know, pick up ourselves from our own bootstraps type of mentality without the, we, we I just don't want big government to hold us down. Like, we can uplift ourselves in our own community. We, we have proven to do that over over time. Right, and I just don't want to be, and again, I think that's healthy not to be dependent to to any political party, right? So uh, again, when it comes to our own community, we can survive ourselves. We just need that that red tape not to be there, right? And I and I feel like it's gonna be the dem, like the Republicans that are gonna p push that, right? We have no tax on tips. You have you're gonna put some tax um, tax breaks on healthcare providers, right? You're gonna he's even trying to Trump is trying to even do take away like um um income, right? Income tax, right? That's really big, right? And so, but even with t no tax on tips, um and tax breaks on healthcare providers, that 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 is that's definitely helpful, right? And so again. When it comes to um, Republicans and GOP and conservatives, I'm leaning towards that because not only it's that's, that aligns more so with my values, with, again, like I said, God, family, country, but when it comes down to the, this topic in, in, in regards to Filipino town, both parties are going to invest into Filipinos, especially if we can show and, and, and they will invest in us, if we can show that we are a voting block to, to actually cater to, not maybe pander to, but actually cater to, right? And so like Trump said, uh, we'll take care of you and you take care of us. And I, and I believe in that mentality. And, and again, Filipinos, we can be 100% loyal. And in my observation, a lot of the Filipino Democrats, and this is why, like, they do a good job making things happen like this, right? But a lot of them are, stay loyal to a party like the Democrats because of the, the because of the accolades, right? And as such, they they feel in t they feel handcuffed in many ways, from my observation, to the the Democrats because they were first in fir first first served first in, right? But really, but even if it goes against their values, right? If you show more Republican, if if this again, if we do more conservatives taking control of Filipino town, then yeah, then, and then we're going and it's gonna be more conservative control. So I'm gonna leave it there. Um, be sure to follow uh, my other Instagram at Project Arcado in which I'm showcasing a lot of the Filipino supporters um, trying to move the voice right there. And of course, follow me, have 
please like, share, and subscribe my my Mitch, main Lozada Mitch Lozada YouTube, right? So I'll just leave it there and and just leave it with this. So with all of this Mubuhai momentum, Mubuhai action, Mubuhai spirit, right? We're, you're gonna make a difference and let Jesus make the difference, right? But ultimately, we're, Filipinos are gonna make America great again. Filipinos are gonna make America beautiful again, right? We put the MAGA in MAGANDA. So make it count, make it MAGA, make it MAGANDA. So Trump 24, let's go. And with all of that said, follow me on my Instagram, follow me on Twitter, Maverick Mitch. Hey Mitch Mitch on Instagram and see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Peace, peace, peace. Be with you. Ekamas Pedro Tuo.